In the last lecture, we learned how to find nearby places from a given coordinate. Now, in this lecture, let's learn how to find places that is present inside a defined area or boundary. Let's try to understand this with an example. So here we have the map and in this map, we have five places which is present in our places collection. So these are the five places which is present in our places collection. Now what I want is I want to define an area and to define that area what I'm going to do is again I'm going to add markers for that area first and then we will connect those markers. So let's say the area starts from here. Let me save this and let's copy these coordinates this latitude and longitude and let's go ahead and let's store it somewhere. So let me go ahead and let me create a variable. I'll call it as P1. And I'm going to store it in an array. And here we have latitude first and then the longitude. But since we want to save this data in a GeoJSON, we need to specify the longitude first and then the latitude. So this is our first point of the area. Let's go back to the map and let's add another point. So again, I'll select this add marker. I'll add that point here. Okay. Let's get the coordinates and let's store it in a variable. Again, longitude will come first and then the latitude. Let's add another marker. So I'll add that marker here. Let's copy the coordinates. Let's save it in a variable. Let's change the order. So first longitude should come and then the latitude. Finally, let's add one more marker that I'll add maybe here. Let's get the coordinates and let's go ahead and let's save it in a variable. And again, let's change the order of latitude and longitude. So first longitude should come and then the latitude. All right, so these are the four points. Now let's connect these four points. So points start from here. Now in order to connect this point and create an area, we can select this option, draw a line. Let's start drawing the line from here. So from here to here, we will connect these two markers. Then let's connect this marker. From here, let's connect this fourth marker and then from fourth to first. And in this way, we have created an area, a polygon. Okay, you can also give a name for this polygon, but I'm going to keep the default value and I'm going to save it. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's now delete these points using which we have created the area. We have already copied the coordinates of these points and we have saved it. So now this is our area. And in this area, we have five places, five locations, which is present in our places collection. So now what we want is we want to write a query to get all the places, all the locations which is present inside a specific area. In this case, this rectangle is going to be our area. And in this rectangle, out of five places from our places collection, we have these three places in that area. So we need to write a query which will return us these three places. Let's see how we can do that. Let's go to Mongo shell and I'm going to write that query here. So again, we want to find documents from the places collection. So we will say db dot places dot find. Now, how do we want to find the documents? We want to find the documents based on location, based on this location field. And in this location field, we want to check which of the locations are present within a given area. So first we need to specify the area within which we want to look for the places and we can specify that area using dollar geo within. Okay, to this dollar geo within again, we will pass a document where we will specify the geometry. In this case, we will specify the details of the area within which we want to look for places. And again, we are going to do that using this dollar geometry operator. 
So to this, we are going to pass a document where we will specify the type. In this case, the type is not point. In this case, we have an area. So if I go to map, here we have multiple coordinates. When we have a single coordinate, when we have a single latitude and longitude, that time we use point. But here we will have multiple coordinates because here we are connecting multiple points, right? So when we create an area, the type for it is polygon. So here we are going to specify the type as polygon. And then a polygon consists of multiple coordinates. So here we also need to specify the coordinates array. Okay. In this array, we are going to specify another set of array. And in here, we need to specify the coordinates by connecting which we are creating this polygon. And we are storing those coordinates in these variables. So I can go ahead and I can use those variables here. So for example, first we have assigned an array to this coordinates. Inside that we are creating another array. And in this array, we need to specify latitudes and longitudes in an array. So we can go ahead and we can start from P1. I can specify it here. Then we can specify P2. Let's specify P3. Then P4. So these are the four coordinates using which we are creating the area. Now, when you are specifying the type as polygon, that means you are creating an area. And when we create an area, that area must be closed. So if I go to map, here we have connected P1 to P2, P2 to P3, P3 to P4. And then we also need to connect P4 to P1 in order to close that area. Right. So when we are specifying the array of coordinates, the first coordinate, the first array and last array should be same so that it will close the loop. It will close the area. Okay. So we are specifying the four points and then in the end, we are specifying the first point to close that loop. I hope you got the point. So here we can specify it like this. We can specify the array of these coordinates like this. Or what we can also do is, since we are working with shell and in shell, we can create variables just like how we can create it in JavaScript. Here we have already created those variables P1, P2, P3, P4. What we can do is we can use those variables. So I can say P1, P2, P3 and P4. And finally, we also need to close this by specifying the first element as the last element. So here the first element and last element should be same. Okay. So using this geo within operator, we are specifying the area. And now we are going to check from the places collection, which places lies within that area. So let's copy this query along with the variables. Let me clear the shell here. Let's go ahead and let's paste the query. So first these four variables will be created and then this query will be executed. If I press enter, you will see it has returned us four documents. So out of five documents, it has returned us four documents. So Phoenix Mall, Kingston Hotel, Iskand Temple and Orion Mall. These four places lies within that area. So I can see Phoenix Mall is there. Iskand Temple is there, which is this place. Let's check. Again, this is Orion Mall. So this is also present there. But then it also says that it has Kingston Hotel in this area. But Kingston Hotel is here. Let's see what is this place. Okay, let me check for Kingston Hotel. Okay, here it is. All right. So as you can see, the Kingston Hotel also lies in this area only. I think by mistake, I have added marker in the wrong place. So let me add the marker here for Kingston Hotel. Okay. And let me delete this point here. So these four points are present in this area. So that has been returned. Okay, so 
using this geo within operator we can check whether the places present in a given collection lies within a given area the geo within operator in mongodb is used to query documents with geospatial data that exists entirely within a specified geometric shape this shape can be a polygon a circle or unbounding box so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day